In this video, I will show you how you can screen capture any music software with almost any screen capture software while you are recording commentaries or sound from your microphone. If you have a low latency ASIO sound card or ASIO interface, and if you are using a music software that supports ASIO sound cards at low latency, you will not be able to get any sounds in a screen capture software in Windows. The reason for this is that ASIO drivers communicate directly between the ASIO sound card and the ASIO music software. In Windows, any music software that supports ASIO will bypass the Windows sound drivers. This means that the sound coming from your music software will not be selectable in a screen capture software. I will quickly demonstrate the problem with screen capturing music softwares in Windows. If we start a playback of a Cubase project, we can hear that sound is coming from the speakers. But it, if we open the Windows Sound Manager, we can see that no sound is coming into any of the recording devices. If we want to screen capture Cubase, we will somehow have to send the sound from Cubase into one of these recording devices. In this video, I will show you how you can do this. The method explained in this video will require you to install an additional software called Audius Asio Link. This software enables you to send sound from any Asio host application to the Windows Sound Manager. The software is not free, but you can download a demo of the software to make sure that it is working before you decide whether you want to buy it. The full version costs approximately 25 Australian dollars. Please note that the demo version of the software will cut off sound for 5 seconds every minute. Once you have downloaded Audius Asio Link, you will have to unzip and run the installation file. When the installation of ASIO Link is complete, the ASIO Link tool will appear. Here you can set the default sample rate. It is important that you select the same sample rate as you intend to use in your music software. In this case, we will choose 44.1. Below you can select the number of channels you want. In this case, we have a stereo setup and two speakers, so we will choose two inputs and two output channels. Now we can click on Start ASIO to start the Odeus ASIO link drivers. A window will ask you to confirm which driver you want to use. In this window, you will have to select the driver for the sound card you are using. In this case, we are using a sound card from TC Electronics, so we will have to choose ASIO TC Near. Once the ASIO link window is displayed, you have quite many options. ASIO link can be used for many purposes, but in this video we will only focusing on screen capturing music software. There are three things you will have to set up correctly to make this work. First, you will have to check the enable multi-clients. This enables multiple instances of ASIO link which you will need if you want to screen capture both your music software and sound coming from Windows in general. Next, in the bottom left corner of the window, you will see writing options for ASIO output to stereo mix. Click on the first and second square to send sound from the host application to the Windows Sound Manager. Next, we will have to do the same to the right where it says WDM Audio to ASIO Output. I have already done this, so there's no need to change it. This will enable you to record sound from Windows directly into your host application. Now you can close the window. You can also close the Odeus ASIO link by clicking on Close. This will minimize the drivers to the system tray. 
If we take a look at the system J, we can see that we are now running one instance of Audius ASIO link. Now we can open our favorite music software. In this example, we will use Cubase. The first time you open Cubase after you have installed ASIO link, you will have to confirm what sound drivers you want to use. You will have to choose the ASIO link option no matter what sound card you are using. Click on ASIO link and click on OK. ASIO link will now display the configuration window. This is where we configure ASIO link to send sound from Cubase to the Windows Sound Manager. In this window you will have to do the same as we did before, except the multi-clients option. Under ASIO output to stereo mix, click on channel 1 1 and channel 2 2 and do the same on the WGM audio to ASIO output. Click on channel 1 1 and channel 2 2. You can click on save profile so that you won't have to do this every time you open Cubase. You can now close the panel. Now we can double check that everything is set up correctly. In the Cubase menu, click on devices and then device setup. In the left pane where it says VST audio system, make sure that the ASIO driver is set to ASIO link no matter what sound card you are using. Also make sure that release driver when application is in background is not checked. Click on OK. If we now take a look in the system tray again, we can see that we are running two instances of Odeus ASIO link. One instance for Windows, which is running the multi-clients option, and one instance for Cubase. If you run multiple music softwares, you will get a new Odeus ASIO link instance open for each one. In the Cubase menu, click on Devices and then VST Connection. If you are using the Studio function in Cubase, you will have to click the Studio tab. If you have a bus already set up, click on Audio Device and select ASIO Link. In Device Port, you will have to set, select your speakers. If you're not using the studio function, you will have to do exactly the same in the output section. We can now close the window and we can start our playback and see if we get any sound in the Windows Sound Manager. Click on the recording tab in the Windows Sound Manager. This window can be accessed from the control panel of Windows. Let's hit the play button. Now you can see that the sound coming from Cubase is sent to the mix device in the Windows Sound Manager. This enables the screen capture software we are going to use to get sound from the music software. Now we are ready to screen capture Cubase. But what if we want to record sound from a microphone while we are screen capturing? Most screen capture softwares only allow one recording device to be used. And in this example we have already chosen the mix device. This prevents us from recording a microphone. An easy workaround is to double click your microphone input device, click on listen and enable listen to this device. Click on OK and go back to the playback tab and find your default playback device. If the playback device is not set as default, you will have to do so. In this example, we will use Camtasia as the default screen capture device, but you can use any other. Let's open Camtasia Studio 8. Most screen capture softwares have the option to select an audio recording device in addition to the system sounds. Usually, system sounds is a synonym for the default playback device in Windows. Everything that goes through the default playback device will be sent here. Now that we have set up the microphone signal to the default output 
Select System Sounds will enable the screen capture software to record the microphone input. In the recording devices, you'll have to select the mix device to get sound from your music software. Now you are able to screen capture any music software with an ASIO interface while at the same time record sound from your microphone. Using this method will preserve the intended audio quality of the music software. Another advantage is that when you are done with the screen capturing, you will have two separate but synchronized audio tracks. These two tracks can be mixed and edited separately from each other. One for the sound coming from the music software and another for the sound coming from your microphone. If you have any thoughts on this, please leave a comment. Remember that ASIO Link have a support forum and a contact information on their webpage. Also make sure you read the manual if you encounter any problems on the way. Please subscribe to the channel if you liked the video and until next time, take care.